Hey guys, today we improved my crosscut sled with some replaceable fence inserts, a permanent box joint key, and a more accurate ruler for the stop block. Cue the logo. I start by ripping down some hardboard to the height of the inserts that I'm going to use. I'm going to crosscut them on the crosscut sled um, after we get it put back together. Here I'm going to take the fence, off, the back fence off the crosscut sled because we're going to deepen the dado that I already did. Um, I proved this concept out recently with uh, 3 16th, uh, 3 16th deep um, hardboard that I had. Um, but the inserts I'm making today are quarter inch, so I need to just make the um, slot for the inserts deeper. So I'm going to take the fence off, put the fence back on the saw, because we're going to use it to um, set the slot deeper. Now we're going to put the dado stack in. We don't need to see the whole process, so we'll see the first side and one of the chippers go in, I think. And here I am giving you useless details. But hey, gotta keep the viewers engaged, right? Alright, so setting the height of the dado stack uh, with the sled on the saw and the um, hardboard. Because we don't want to go deeper than hardboard, we want it to all be flush. So running the dado, uh, running the fence through the dado, just to shave off that sixteenth of an inch that I need for clearance for this new thickness material. Now that that's done, we can put the fence back on. I should supply sound effects for this. Maybe not. All right, we're going to take the dado stack back out. A lot of dado stack switching today. Put the standard blade back in. I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> OK, sled's back on the saw inserts in, blades in, we're ready to go. So I'm measuring the height of the fence so I know what uh, length to make these pieces here because that's going to be the height. All right. Cut a bunch of them out of one of the strips that I cut. Last one. All right. So now that we have the inserts cut. I'm going to measure the depth of the insert or the slot that I already did with the keyhole bit the other day. So now I know what uh, to cut at the edges. So we're going to create a little like eighth inch dado basically um, on the edge of these inserts. So I'm going to sneak up on it. I'm going to get as close as I can. Um, sneak up on it and then uh, once I get it good on one we'll run the rest through. So we tried a couple of times everything looks good and we'll make a little hair adjustment okay do it another time one more adjustment That's the one. Oh, yeah. I actually said that when I put it in there and it worked. I said, all right, so we're going to take it out. We're going to run the rest of them through. And uh, now we know that the blade's dialed in, so all of these are going to fit. And I did, in fact, test all of these, each one, after I uh, did everything. So, so now we're taking the... Um, my sled's got removable base inserts so I can, don't have to destroy the kerf whenever I'm uh, 
going to use a dado stack or do uh, box joints or anything. So I'm putting the um, quarter inch, the one I reserved for quarter inch box joints back in. So this way I've got about a quarter inch kerf underneath the sled so I don't um, do any damage. So measuring the height of the material, I'm going to cut some box joints in. This is just a couple of test pieces of walnut scrap I got left over. So setting the height of the stack. We must have missed this. I did put the dado stack back in. Um, minor details. All right, so I've got a fresh insert in the fence. We're going to run it through, and we're going to put a slot in the insert. So now I'm going to take the insert out. I'm going to check my key. My key fits just a quarter inch, a piece of quarter inch scrap that I'm going to use as my key. So I've got the dado stack set to be um, the same width as a normal quarter inch uh, stock. So I'm going to set my adjustable box joint jig. Um, this is why I want a fixed box joint key for quarter inch box joints. I, I do them all the time. And um, it just takes too long to set this up for the amount of quarter inch box joints that I do. So I'm going to tie all this in for this one time. And then I'm going to run uh, another slot. I'm going to use a piece of scrap as backer. I'm going to run another slot in this uh, insert that I made so that I have a place to glue the key. So now I've got a place I can glue the key. It's already, you know, it's dialed in. And then, um, so now I'll have a permanent box joint key for the quarter inch joints I always make. So we're going to clamp this here just for stability's sake. I'm talking to myself. Okay, I'm gonna glue the key in. Gonna find the glue. All right, there it is. I'll glue the key in. What am I doing? All right, I was adding some glue. Add some super glue as well just to, so I don't have to wait so long. Put it in there. All right, everything is good. All right, check it a hundred times. Scrape the squeeze out off. All right, while that sits off to dry, I'm gonna peel off the old ruler on this sled. So this old ruler was polyester. Um, polyester reinforced as it was advertised and it stretched terribly when I installed it. So over the length of 20 inches it was almost a sixteenth of an inch off. So like the first eight inches was great but after that it started to um, become less and less accurate. So I got this um, Powertech metallic adhesive ruler from uh, just off Amazon, and um, I'm going to use that instead. I'm going to zero it on the same scratch mark that I have from from before, and then I can make a fine adjustment to the stop block once once it's it, uh, in place. Peel the backer off, zero it out, stick it down. All right, so this won't stretch as I'm pulling on it to um, stick it down, and it goes down pretty easy. Um, and cutting it, I just, I tried to cut it with some dikes that I had that did, I guess weren't sharp. Long story short, it's cut. It's down at about 20 and a quarter at the end there. So I slide the stop black back on and, um, zeroed it against the blade. Decided that wasn't good enough, so I wanted to, um, use an actual thickness of a material. So I grab some quarter inch material, zero that up against the blade so I know that the reference mark on the stop block is going to be a quarter inch. Take a screwdriver, I can loosen up the plexi here, shift it over till the reference mark is at the quarter, tighten it back down, and now it's dead on accurate. And I tested this later with a uh, 
with my 12 inch um, combination square and I was dead on at 12 inches which is more than I could say for the other one. So here I am trying out my box joint key with those scrap pieces of walnut. Alright, so I'm going to do the second piece. I'll try it out. Alright, and here we go. Super snug. Probably snugger than I like, but for small boxes, perfectly fine. So there we have it. We got removable inserts. I can, you know, if I do any data cuts, half laps, anything, I can put a fresh insert in there. I don't have to destroy my normal uh, eighth inch insert. And the more I destroy, the more I can just put a new insert in. Um, let me know what you think of these improvements to my sled uh, in the comments below. Subscribe, hit the bell for no, more, more notifications. Thanks for watching.